Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing y'all these soft gel tips. They are pre-buffed, ready to go, and they come with a solid nail glue, which I was super intrigued by. So Jofe Fashion sent these over for me to try to show y'all. I have used their press-ons before and their press-ons are really good. I actually still keep them if I have to go somewhere in a pinch, I just put them on. But these are their nail tips that you can put on like usual. These are almost, I would say, like the BT Art Box ones, but they're not X-Coat tips. Um, I don't think that they have any primer or anything on them and they're really not super thick. So, I mean, I would paint over them and build an apex because they're also kind of flat, but I really do like that they give me that shape. So, and they give like the French design already. This is, uh, the tips are included in there. That was a little accessory package that had um, your files, your lint-free wipes in there. So you have all your extras that you need. Now it also comes with a no-wipe top coat. It comes with a primer as well to prep your nails. And then it also comes with the solid um, glue. Now I am a huge fan of using solid glue to put my nails on because... Y'all, I cannot get my nails straight to save my life, it feels like. <laughs> I just have the hardest time getting my nails to apply straight because my fingers go crooked and I like to keep my nails to be straight. So it's, it gives me a little bit easier of a time. Also, these three decal sheets are included in the kit. I did not use them this time, um, but I do plan on using those because those are perfect for spring. Also, they include a flash cure lamp with the tips now it all comes in this kit now if you do use this flash cure lamp I would still recommend using a larger lamp a full-size lamp to fully cure your nails at the end just to get maximum adhesion because so this is only six watts so I would totally recommend using a full-size lamp to cure your um, your nails after you've applied them all so I'm just kind of showing everything uh, that came in the kit but like I was saying, putting nails on straight, a lot of them, a lot of kits come with like the, your regular nail glue, which is just like almost like a, a top coat or a base coat consistency or even a builder gel consistency. But the solid glue is thicker and you'll see me being able to leave the tip on my nail without holding it. And I felt like that is amazing. I can wiggle it around to get it precise. All right. So with these tips, they are all separated in a baggie by each set. So each baggie has a full set of all the sizes and you get 10 bags of tips. So basically you get 10 set, 10 hands, I guess you could say. So you get five sets. I mean, I'm sure you could make some of the nail tips work maybe for two, for both of your hands, but the sizes are pretty close to similar as far as like how many sizes that they have. And a lot of different sizes come in one little bag. I was very shocked. Now, also, they um, have the white edge. So you just want to be careful when you're kind of playing around with them and putting them on. Because you can chip that white edge, like if you scratch it or something like that. Because it's not sealed on there yet until you put your top coat on. So I was just kind of laying them out just to kind of see where if I could find the smallest size. So I could compare the largest size and the smallest size for you because they're pretty decent. Like the small is pretty small. So if you have really small pinkies, that would work for you. I mean, the nails themselves are pretty long, but I mean, they wouldn't be like every day for me just because it's getting to be summertime and I have four kids, two of them being toddlers. If y'all know that, if y'all have been around for a little bit, y'all know I have two really small babies. So Bathing suits and really long nails don't really work for the summer for me. So I would wear this more of like in the fall time. Plus my baby's almost, my last baby's almost out of diapers. So woohoo there. But I'm just sizing my nails out now. So I do use a larger size. I usually use um, a zero for my thumb size. Oh, and I also wanted to show you all that they're flat. So if you're probably going to want to build an apex if you want them to be super strong. But you can do that with builder gel on top which I will get into that just a little bit later. So I'm just sizing my tips out right now for my nails, and then I will make any adjustments 
at the cuticle line because I want these nails to fit my hands perfectly. I don't really want them to be um, going over my skin or hitting my cuticle line weird. I want them to look as natural as possible while still maintaining the full shape. So, I mean, I've got my sizes, which was relatively easy to do. I mean, I like that they come in their own little bag. I went ahead and put them all back in there. And now we're going to check out this little accessory kit. So what I thought was really interesting that I hadn't seen before is that this kit actually has a nail tip stand. If you wanted to make these as press-ons, you could do that. You could design the French tip, put a little bit of color on the French tip area, and still apply them. So I thought that was really interesting. Because with them being so sheer, you can the light can still penetrate through the pink part. So if you wanted to put a little design on the French tip or on the nail itself, not fully opaque, but if you wanted to put a little bit of a design on there, you could still do that on the nail tip and then apply it to your nail. That is really cool. Those little white tabs are the adhesion parts for it. And then the white, uh, the white little squares are lint-free wipes. Then you have a 100-180 grit file and a flex file. Flex files are probably my favorite thing ever. <laughs> I just, I love them. They don't cut your skin open. As you see, I'm having like a little bit of an issue. Um, I cut my finger when I was prepping my nail. So I was just like, dang. But I still had to do the video. So I just went along with it. So y'all are just going to have to excuse my thumb there. And then my ring finger, I cut it on something while I was playing with my kids. But I went ahead and I filed the cuticle line and got everything looking really good. I went ahead and shaped the tip just a little bit because it was a little bit off. But when you're filing, you really, really want to make sure that you're not scuffing the white. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to put these nails on. I'm going to leave it in real time for the thumb so that y'all can see how easy this really is. I'm not doing it on my non-dominant hand or on my dominant hand because I just wanted to show y'all how the process goes very simple very easy very straightforward and sometimes when I'm using my non-dominant hand it just gets a little bit like crazy <laughs> so this is the solid glue gel now you got, got to give it a little bit of a squeeze now but it comes out very very thick and it's not going to move so I'm going to use this solid glue to put it on to put the tips on now my, t my nails are shiny because I do have a peel base on my nails because um, I did have to go to work this day and it was uh, my boss informed me that we had a bunch of boxes that came in that needed to be put in inventory. I just work at a small mom and pop shop so I needed to uh, ha be ready to do all that work myself and lift all the boxes and open them all. So I just couldn't do that with the nails being this long, but I still really wanted to use them because I have been looking at them for about a week while I was waiting <laughs> on to take my other nails off. So this is about how long they are and I just could not function with boxes and stuff like that at work. So I popped these off uh, a little bit after doing them before I went to work and I'm already ready to put them back on because my boss, I asked her when the next shipment was and she said not for like a month or so. so. I'm going to put them back on probably. I really like them. They're super cute and really easy to do. So I did not put the primer on because I wanted to show y'all what would happen if you do not put the primer on. Now, they are matte underneath, but I still recommend putting a primer or something underneath because as you see, the soft gel glue did not stick to the tip. And what's going to happen is that's going to mean that if you put the soft gel glue on that tip and you put it on the nail then it's not going to stick the tip is going to pop off and it's going to leave the glue on the nail so if you want just a little bit of adhesion you can put a primer you can put um, like a bond on there if you want um, you can etch it just a little bit but I just chose to put a little bit of primer on and it worked fine I didn't have any problems uh, it, it had the solid glue gel stick to it and there was a little piece of hair. I don't know if y'all saw that hair, but you also want to make sure that underneath the nails are clean. So even if you don't put any primer underneath, um, I would suggest maybe wiping them with some alcohol or something just to make sure that they're clean because you really don't want to get any dirt or dust or anything trapped underneath because they're a sheer tip. So if you get them trapped where everybody's going to see that part, well, not even everybody, if you get one piece of hair underneath that French tip part, that uh, translucent part, you might like stare at it until you take them off because you might be able to see it through the sheerness 
But now I'm going to show you the difference of how the glue sticks to the tip. Also, that is way too much glue that I put on there, but it works. So I wanted to show y'all with the orange wood stick. I generally don't use an orange wood stick because the glue sticks to it. Um, I would put alcohol on it if I was going to use it, but I just put a glove on my hand and then I just pat the gel down because it's not touching my skin. So you can do that if you have gloves on. Pat it down just a little bit at the cuticle. Now I do like a little bit of a slide motion when I use solid glue and then I just press it down until the solid glue gel reaches my free edge and I just stop. And then the tip, like I was saying, it will just sit there while you do clean up. It will just stay there in position while you're cleaning up the excess gel. Now, I was going to use the orange wood stick, but I decided to just use a cuticle pusher. I like to use the scraper end of the cuticle pusher just to get the excess glue off. That's just my method of choice. You can use a silicone tool. You can use a an orange wood stick dipped in alcohol. It's really personal preference, but this is just what I choose to use also because it's a little bit sharper and it just cuts the glue like right off. So like that is literally how easy it is to put the tip on and all you do is wiggle it around in place, make sure all of the gel is off your skin and by, make, by making sure that all the glue is off your skin, you also cut down on the filing needed to do at the end. You also cut down on any allergies or anything like that. So you just really want to make sure that you have it in place. You have all the gel cleaned up before you put your hand into the lamp. I just wanted to show y'all where I was wiping the, the excess gel. I was wiping on one of the lint-free pads. Um, just wipe it on there because it won't. you're not going to pick up any lint or any dust or anything when you're doing back and forth. Now, I also wanted to show you that I do leave the tip just a little bit away from my cuticle line. You don't want to put your nail tip up like on your cuticle or underneath you want to leave it just a smidge away just so that it looks a little more natural and as it grows out it actually sticks to the nail and it doesn't like lift with um growth so now i make sure that the tip is straight and the nail is ready to go in the lamp now i just flash cure under there for about between five and ten seconds because i do know that i'm going to put my whole hand in the lamp i just don't want it to move while i'm working on the other nails so i left my thumb real time that is really how long it took me just to do my thumb and that's after that's like going really slow so y'all can see the process but as you get better you're gonna move a lot faster you're gonna be able to do this a lot quicker it's just gonna work out a lot better so now I'm going to speed up the other fingers and I'm just gonna let y'all watch and then I will come back in just a little bit to kind of say my thoughts and share a little bit more with y'all
So I went ahead and I put my nails in the lamp for a full 60 seconds, got everything cured, everything is looking nice, everything is nice and straight, which is my favorite part. So now it also comes with the two files, like I was saying. I just have a little bit of cleanup to do around the cuticle line because I always file the cuticle line. It just helps give it like a more seamless look. But like I was saying at the beginning, you really want to be careful to not hit the white edge because you will file it off. It's just, it's it just painted on there. It's not covered up yet. So you just want to be really careful that you don't scrape that part. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you just, I just am cleaning up a little bit on the cuticle line. So now this coat, this kit doesn't come with a builder gel. It only comes with a top coat. Now the builder gel step is optional, but if you're going to be wearing the tips just like this and not adding a design or anything over them, I would highly suggest using a builder gel for two reasons. Now the builder gel is going to do two things, two different things. It is going to number one, protect the white tip so that over the time of you wearing these tips plain like this, your French tip will stay beautiful and you will not be chipping any of the color off. Because um, if you just use a top coat, the top coat does chip over wear just because you're using your nails. So over time, the top coat will chip. And as the top coat chips, then that means that the white part will be exposed. So the Builder Gel will give that extra layer of protection for the white color on the French tip. It will also give the nails an extra layer of strength, which would be number two. So I did show you at the beginning that the nails are a little bit flatter. I do like a flatter nail, but with this length, you do want a little bit of an apex just to prevent nail trauma. That's what the apex is for. It's just to prevent any kind of trauma that, like if you bang your nail, it gives it a little bit of extra strength to hold the nail on and just to be like a little bit thicker so that it doesn't give you like a super bad break. Also, the nails won't bend if you put the builder gel on as well. I've had all of that happen, which is why with nails this long, I do like to do an apex, but not a lot of one because I just like them to be a little bit flatter. The longer the nail, the higher the apex for protection. That's just what I have learned in my years of doing this. But for this nail set, it did not come with a builder gel. So I just went ahead and I applied the top coat on top of the nails. Now they are already matte, so you don't need to put anything on top of them before you do that. You can do the primer if you want, but that's personal preference. I just wanted to show you the consistency of the top coat. It is relatively thin, which I don't mind. It looks really pretty. They turned out really great. I really don't particularly like the look of that spot where the French... I would make my French lower just because the tip, the French tip part is so high and you can kind of see through it. But all in all, I thought they were easy to use. The solid glue gel is super amazing. I'm pretty sure they sell it by itself. If you don't like the length of the tips and you just want to try the glue, y'all should definitely grab it if y'all have had a hard time with Gel X nails. This will help you perfect that. So... All in all, I really like the tips. I like that they are matte already. I like the shape of them. They are stiletto, a true stiletto. Um, I like that they are already matte. I think that the French tip is really nice. So all in all, I'm pleased with the tips. I really like them. I'm probably going to use them again. But I really hope that y'all learned something from this video. I hope that you found it helpful. And I do plan on keeping up to date with my videos. I plan on doing more for y'all. So stay tuned. Leave me a white heart if you have made it this far and you enjoyed the video. Or if you just made it this far. <laughs> I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will catch y'all in the next video.